It might actually win it. It is Tuesday the 29th of October and uh, I think we'd better do this. That's right, you're right, here we go, it's the 107 FM, <clears throat> please excuse me, and today, believe me, absolutely elated because we're heading over to Arkansas, we really are, catch up with a good friend of mine, yep, very, very cool, uh, but first of all, we've got to welcome everybody on board, and nice to have everybody joining us this morning, and uh, if you're a first time viewer, a special welcome to you, why not become part of the family? That we call it the noise here at Galaxy simply because uh, you do have a voice and we do take notice. We really, really do. So, uh, yeah, why not do this? Why not sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people, much like Mark Lino. I'm not sure whether he's a doctor yet. I'm going to find out. <clears throat> no? No. Okay. You'll get there. <coughs> I promise. Uh, sub. Why not subscribe? Become part of the family here at Galaxy. And of course, you know what to do with the thummy thing. Get epileptic with it. In the meantime, I'll tell you what. Let's kick it off. And believe me, you're going to absolutely love this because I've got a few questions about it. Here's Kick the Wicked into the light. Well, it gives us a couple of minutes. <coughs> Um, is it Dr. Mark now? Not yet. We just actually, I just uh, passed my written part of my comprehensive exam, and all I have to do is do the what we call the uh, public presentation of it, uh, and then I'll be called a PhD candidate. The way it works is um, I have to do I'll do my dissertation. So I'm going to be doing my research, um, and then I will write my dissertation and defend it, and then I will be Dr. Linian. So. Very cool. Dr. Mark. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm still going to call you Dr. Mark. Okay? That's fine, that's fine. Kim Wakely wants to call me Dr. Rock when I get it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, Dr. Rock. There you go, me. They both fit very, very well. Tia Timmons is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Tia. And also Mark, uh, sorry, <laughs> Nick Plews is joining us. Oh, gosh, Mark. Believe me, it's hot in here. I've got to be honest with you, it's uh, 26 degrees which is uh, mm, starting to pick up. Add another 10 in here for the computers and everything, and it's just... Yeah, yeah you, need, you need to add a little stronger AC in there. Well, I, a couple of years ago, I'm not kidding you, uh, when we shifted to this building, the boss has come along to me and says, Gra, it's going to be hot in the summertime. You want a fan? I went, yeah, absolutely, you know. He goes, what would you like? And I went, oh, I don't know, something about six foot two, maybe 18, blonde, Swedish, blue eyes, you know, she can do this all day. <laughs> they got me a gold ear. And the selling point of that was it oscillates. Right. <laughs> Yay. It makes a lot of noise, too, when you're on the radio. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like the heater. Yeah, I agree. Oh dear, my bosses have no sense of humour, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't. They usually don't. <laughs> no, they really don't. But I tell you what, uh, after we do this, I've got a few updates for you that you may be interested in. Literally. Excellent. Because uh, we are this close to getting on a plane and going back to India. Nice. We really are. Uh, this time we'll meet your bigger guns, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the, those last ones were uh, an education for sure, but I don't think this time will be looked upon in the same way. In fact, uh, we're going to have uh, special little cars to help us get through uh, the airport. Nice. Mm. Upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. In, in fact, uh, it's all part part and parcel with the uh, visas and everything, it's all going to be linked in together. And taxes, yay. Awesome. My favourite word. Yeah. You'll have to wear boots.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Touchy, it really is. It must give it some CRC or something like that. Uh, nice to have Jill Fine joining us as well. Hello, Jill. Uh, love to Kevin as well. Today we're talking, of course, to Mark Leno from Kick the Wicked coming out of Arkansas. I do have it right. It is Arkansas, isn't it? That is Arkansas, that's correct. Thank Welcome you. back, Mark. Nice to have you back with us. No, it's nice to be on. I always enjoy coming on here with you guys. Yeah, I'm loving the backdrop. This is really, really, um, well. <laughs> I'm in the middle there. <laughs> I, I've got a thing about, uh, you know, top hats. I absolutely love them. I'm a bit steampunky myself, if you know what I mean. So that right. really kind of fits my sense of humour, to be very honest with you. I'm loving that. <laughs> really, really am. And Jill Fye says, hey, uh, nice to have you on board, Jill, it really, really is. Now, uh, Mark, we opened up the show, of course, with Into the Light. Now, and I'm going to quote this, believe me, Into the Light is a rock metal fused banger of a tune about the paranormal. It's a, mel right. it's a melt of spiritual sensitivity, faith in the plane into the afterlife and the journey into the light. Mark, do you believe in ghosts? Absolutely. Brilliant. Love it. Absolutely love it. Got any experiences? Oh yeah, I have experiences. I've had them since I was real, very young. Um, I actually just, so everybody will get a chance to read all about that eventually. I'm hoping in 2025 they release my book, so that's, that'll be like 281 pages and I talk a bit about it, but um, that song is a perfect example of just writing about experiences and writing about things that um, you know that others that may touch others who have those same types of experiences. So you know, then there's 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 believers, non-believers, but you know, me, I also have faith. So if you have faith, there's the Holy Ghost. So obviously, there's spirits, there's ghosts, there's there's demons, and all those kind of things. So, yeah. Yep, and absolutely, believe me, the Bible is absolutely chock full of it. To be very honest yeah. with you, yeah. uh, me, I'm a searcher of truth. I'm, I'm not a skeptic, but I'm not a non-skeptic either. I, I want to know the truth. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I would rather see the ghosts up front and personal rather than on somebody's documentary where they're making a bump and behind and everybody's getting scared. <laughs> and, you know. Well, I'm working. I'm actually working on technologies to um, hopefully uh, help you with that because you know a lot of these kind of technologies you see they they can be messed with you know um, so a lot of my stuff I do with NASA and beyond that in technology had to do with wavelength energy things like that so uh, the stuff I'm working on now um, will will actually kind of work in that way of proving what's you know supposed to be in there and what's not supposed to be you know you're the guy I want to know Literally, when it comes to stuff like this, because believe me, I'm the techo guy that wants to take it into the field and test it out. Yeah. I want something that gives me something better than a stick figure to look at and go, oh gosh, there's a ghost there. <laughs> Come on. It's a stick figure. Come on, believe me. You're talking about the SLS, are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am, literally, you know. Come on. <laughs> You're going to see a ghost and everything. Yeah, well, at least, you know, give it a shake. Give it, you know, this see whether it's a male or a female, I can't really tell from a stick figure which one it is and if it's waving or whether it's shaking its foot or whatever, you know, I'd rather get a little bit more definition into it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but at the same time, I kind of like the deal where you're uh, giving them energy, like the, uh, uh, the these uh, Newton's ladder things that go up and down and stuff like that, get right. them all attracted to it, you know what I mean? Kind of, sure. you know, Double dare them, go and grab the thing. Let's see if you can shock yourself. Tell me something new. Uh, because I'm sure these ghosts, I don't know whether you've seen the shows or not, and believe me, I've seen a mess of them, uh, including Zach Balins and his crew. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure these ghosts, everybody's going to the same places. And they're asking the same damn question. Why do these ghosts turn out? Oh, here we go again. Another bloody question about <laughs> tell me your name. <laughs> Pull, pull out the list, they just hit, hit a recorder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Same ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, uh, yeah, so that song, as a matter of fact, Into the Light, was actually premiered. Uh, I don't know if you've ever saw the show, The Holzer Files. No, not um, yet. 
But I have heard so, of it. Yeah, Dave, Dave Schrader is a good friend of mine. He's um, He actually has a paranormal podcast called Paranormal 60. And he's also on t he's a TV personality, radio personality. And he's he's been in that world for quite some time. But he premiered Into the Light on his podcast before we actually released it. And uh, so it was pretty cool to have him, you know, premiere it along with all of his, what he calls his darklings, you know, so his fans got to hear into the light. So. Well, uh, you know something? <clears throat> I think I'd like to talk to this man. Because yeah, that, yeah. believe me, <clears throat> fascinates me. Really, really does. Uh, anything paranormal, even UFOs, stuff like that, or uh, UAPs, sure. if you want to call them that. Uh, anything that's unusual fascinates me simply because... <clears throat> I want to know the truth, literally, you know what I mean? Uh, again, neither here nor there, I'm sitting on the fence with pretty much everything until I see it for sure. real, literally. Now, um, <clears throat> we're heading over to a uh, another country very, very shortly, and uh, somebody asked me, what downtime, what do you want to do in your downtime? <clears throat> <Right. clears throat> now, we're going to be surrounded by people uh, making TV things of us as well. Literally, we're going to be doing a lot of TV work. So I says, well, you know, quite frankly, my downtime is grabbing a TV crew and going to a haunted area and spending 24, 48 hours in there and really trying to get down and find the truth for myself. Uh, I like other people doing it. That's cool. That's really fun. You know what I mean? But I want to see yeah. it for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, well, sure. if Discovery or anybody else wants to pick up on it from there on in, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but DJ coming from the darkness. <clears throat> well, the galaxy, it, what it was <laughs> At the same time, I mean, we, we're going to India, right? Now, look, yeah. let's be honest. Uh, the Maharaja, uh, the, they have a, a, a Bible literally over there, and it describes blue and green people. That flow there, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Vishnu, Vishnu, Brahma, mm. you know, all of those, and so the uh, it's like Vishnu, the the blue uh, Vishnu is supposed to be the shapeshifter mm. comes at different in different as different entities. Um, if I remember correctly, I even believe that a lot of the prophets and uh, they believe like Jesus and all those are just other visions of Vishnu. That's if I remember correctly, that's their their belief system. Awesome. Absolutely. Now, for me, I want to see where they walked, where they were, yeah. down on sure. the ground, where the bananas landed. You know what I mean? That sure. interests me. Let's get down to the truth. Is this the site? Is this the one that's in the book? You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And, and that's, that's always great to do. History is awesome. Uh, it's like when I walked the streets of Jerusalem, when I went up to the wall, you know, that, that, that's, that there's nothing like that being, I went underneath like 30 feet below where the original wall was and stuff, you know, so that, you know, those kind of things are really cool. The historical and the cultural stuff is really amazing. I've been all over China, I've seen all kinds of stuff there, I've been to Tibet over, you know, with the Dalai Lama's palace, so all that stuff is really cool. Yeah, believe me, <clears throat> I'm, I'm a huge historian fan, if you know what I mean. Right. Uh, but I don't want to read it in a book. You know, I don't want to see somebody else do it. I want to do it myself, you know what I mean? That's right. And, well, right. I know the guys over there, they're going to want to come along with a few cameras anyway. So uh, let's put them to work. Let's <laughs> really find out what their metal is and what they're made of as well. Uh, and put them in some situations that, you know, only can tell you one way or another, is it the truth or not? You know what I mean? Sure, sure. So, in the meantime, my friend, uh, absolutely brilliant to talk to you. And uh, uh, I've been told we better refresh everybody's memory. How do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on X? Are you a, <laughs> are you a Twitter? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, so, I'm on, so I'm on everything. I've got, uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on X. I'm on Instagram. I'm on, uh, so Kick the Wicked is on all of those. Kick the Wicked is on all the digital platforms. My band before Fiction Six is on all the digital platforms, so I'm really easy to find. Um, I'm out there everywhere. So we just went through a uh, Kid the Wicked just went through a first round consideration uh, Grammy run, and I was uh, just all over the place on that too. So I'm sure people will see a lot of remnants of that as well. So absolutely brilliant. 
uh, Angela Ray is joining us. Nice to have you on board. And also Renita from Renzita is joining us as well. Nice to have you on board as well. And today we're going to be releasing officially, literally, monkeys in a jet. I mean, I'm familiar with monkeys in a barrel. <laughs> well, this, this, so is, is this refined? This as well. It, so, what I did is I had sea monkeys when I was when I was little. There was a, something called sea monkeys. They were they were basically brine shrimp. But yeah. you know, but the, all the all the cartoons and everything to the kids. You know, they were monkeys in a jar. And you you sit there as a kid and you'd look into this jar and it would go murky after a while because there's water in there. And you would just wonder, you know, what are they thinking? You know, are these aliens? You know, what, what, what's, you know, what exactly is going on in their world? You know, as a kid, you know, you think about all this outlandish stuff out there. You know, are they judging me? What do they think about? So I was, so when I write, like I said, I always write about something that has to either with experiences or parallels or you know things like that. And so I thought about society of today as the monkeys in the jar. I'm standing outside of this jar, looking in. And here's this other society in there, and I'm looking in there. Are they judging me? And you know what? What are they thinking? And you know they're being fed from the top, and you, you get the whole, you know, the whole thing. So that's what that's what monkeys in the jar is. It's that parallel of just that kind of thinking uh, about society and and the way we all think as human beings, chaotic nature. So. Yeah, you know, that kind of describes human beings looking at aliens that fly in from outer space. You know, <laughs> what do those guys think of us? Gosh, yeah. here I mean, you are. They don't throw crap at us, so you know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet, not that we know of, anyway. <laughs> You're right here at Galaxy, joined by Mark Lino. What's the green stuff? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not going to sink my boat, is it? <laughs> Kick the wicked and monkeys in a jar. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm it's up yeah, so I, re I remember from the from the zoo when I was a kid. We'd go there. They had to put glass up on either side of the monkeys because if they didn't, they'd throw crap at you. Yeah, yeah. They would because that's what they would do. They'd pick up the crap and they'd throw it through the. T and it always reminded me of you know just how divisive the world is, you know, they're just throwing crap at each other, and it's like, it's like you gotta put some flexi walls up just to keep the crap from getting on you. Right, when, when, when I was a very young man, Dad says to me, time to start earning your own pocket money, right? So you need right. to go out and get either a milk run or a newspaper or something. And I said, sure. really Dad? And he goes, let's look at life like this. Life's a shit sandwich. The more bread you make, the less shit you're eating. That's right. <laughs> you know? Exactly. <laughs> so Do you remember what? all the ink on your hands when you used to deliver the paper? The ink would get everywhere, man. I used to deliver them when I was, a, when I was young, too. Yep. So. Used to stand there, roll them up, you know, put a little dent yep. in there. <laughs> <laughs> you got ink all over you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Flip. You're hoping you hit the right yard. <laughs> exactly, yep. Absolutely. Oh, gosh, those were the days. Huh? I used to uh, love riding on the back of the milk truck too, you know, but we had glass yeah. bottles and I mean, we're holding right. eight, eight to ten bottles as we're jumping off, the, the vehicle's still cruising along about a good 20 kilometres and we just step off, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Absolutely cra I've seen so many people go AOT, bottles and glass <laughs> everywhere, you know, Cut the shreds. No, nah, they're not coming back to work tomorrow. <laughs> no, no. Ah, oh, dear idea. Yeah, so, what what'd you, what'd you think of Monkeys in the Jar? Have you listened to it yet? Or? I have. I liked it. In fact, I do like it a lot. Because yeah. we've added it to our breakfast show. So, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah Scott. Scott Scott did an amazing job with the guitars on that one. I really and Rory really let go with the drums, so I was really pleased with it. Uh, how do you pronounce Rory's last name? Fashion. Fashion. I, I, yeah, I was close. It's very French. Yeah, yeah I kind of figured it might be. Uh, is he Canadian? Um, you know, I don't, you know, I never really asked them that. It's kind of funny in the U.S., you know, we're such melting pots anyway. You know? <laughs> um, my last name's French, but I got all kinds of genetics from all over the damn place. So. 
<laughs> bro, I, I put on the video, I understand. I am. <laughs> Hang in there, bro. We'll round this up, and uh, I've got some news to tell you. Okay. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and uh, to answer Jill's question, wondering how it's going. Uh, very successful actually, how it's going. Uh, <clears throat> I was just going to say to Mark, uh, we're in the final stages now. All we have to do now is get an apostle, apocyte, something like that, uh, to put the official rubber stamp on it. We've had the... Uh, uh, <clears throat> the notary do his bit then we're going to send that off to India and we will be officially part of a company in India uh, with tax numbers and uh, well we've got a little government help helping out every now and again as well so things are uh, moving very very well on that department literally I think we will be there about February to be very honest with you don't think we're going to make it by November, but in the meantime, believe me, we have had a huge amount of support coming out of India in every direction, literally from Kolkata through to Mumbai, Goa, and of course uh, Trivandrum and other areas, including, including our home base where we're going to be. So believe me, it is huge over there. The anticipation alone is amazing. It really, really is. Don't forget, wherever we open up a radio station over there, we're also looking at doing shows and stuff like that. Jay is completely on to that. So uh, you never know. You may or may not be very, very close to uh, playing in front of a crowd it's never heard Western music, and believe me, they're like a big sponge. They really, really are. It's only been Bollywood for 55 years, and everybody that we play here will be played on our radio stations over there. So they are going to be a new fan base for each and every artist, and I'm so excited about that. That's why we're doing it. In the meantime, I've got to say thank you, Mark, and thank you for putting up with me. Uh, absolute pleasure to have you back, my friend. But, I've got to ask, anything new in the future? Well, uh, we're working on an album, a full-length album for uh, Kick the Wicked. Uh, we hope to have that out in 2025. Um, I've also changed up a lot of stuff. People will see a lot of, I've been using a lot of AI, AI engines and stuff like that. You see the artwork behind me, that's, you know, Scott to one side and Rory to the other and me in the middle. So, uh, people have been really uh, into that kind of stuff the artwork and the, and the videos so they can go check us out on youtube because there's a lot of these ai cool ai motion videos that are now out with our music which is um kick the wicked they can find us on youtube and i would also say go to kickthewicked.com for news but hey everybody go to spotify you know check us out and of course we'd love to run the numbers up so that's part of the pitch right so absolutely it is it really really is in the meantime, unfortunately, we are going to have to move on uh, because we've got a, another interview. We're heading all the way over to North Carolina to catch up with a young man by the name of Jimmy Hoover. Believe me, a very, very exciting artist in his own right. So have a very happy and successful and stay safe day, and I'll catch up with you very shortly. Happy radio, everyone.